It's been five years since the killing of Osama bin Laden, the founder of al-Qaeda. The deadliest of its attacks around the world was the September 2001 assaults on the United States. CCTV's Jessica Stone examines what the world knows about the movement bin Laden started and how to fight it. It took nearly 10 years to find him and just minutes to kill him. Osama bin Laden, leader of the terror group al-Qaeda. He was living at this compound in a small town in Pakistan's border region. On May 2, 2011, an elite group of U.S. forces killed him and four others. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. Security experts say the death of bin Laden helped prevent more large-scale attacks like those on 9-11, when his followers hijacked civilian airliners and flew them into New York's World Trade Center and the Pentagon. But it didn't halt the growth of radical Islam. For the first three to three and a half years after bin Laden's death, uh, what we saw was a gradual increase in the strength of these movements, particularly in 2012 into 13 and 14. In this leadership vacuum, al-Qaeda splintered. Other groups emerged or grew, like Boko Haram, the scourge of Nigeria, al-Shabaab that slaughtered more than 60 people at this mall in Nairobi, and al-Qaeda in Iraq that split with bin Laden's group to become ISIS. They made it all um, much more of a micro set of operations that were interconnected by a broader ideology, but were individually planned, were not nearly as centrally choreographed. And that became the defining characteristic of ISIS, just as it was really the defining characteristic of al-Qaeda in Iraq, even while bin Laden was alive. ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi declared a caliphate, a religious state in Iraq and Syria, where foreign recruits are training much as al-Qaeda fighters did in Afghanistan. Its social media campaigns have radicalized Muslim youth around the world, who then perpetrated horrors like the Boston Marathon bombings and attacks in Paris and in Brussels. As troops from the region and from Europe and the U.S. now join to roll back ISIS, security experts say the group's leadership is still vulnerable. They require a core. And uh, when they fail to have that, if we are able to defeat them more decisively in Iraq and Syria, they will be floundering. Many security experts say that the killing of Osama bin Laden did challenge a narrative in radical Islam that justifies mass slaughter. But as we've seen over the last two decades of America's war on terror, it is easier to kill an Islamist leader than it is their ideas. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.